The Californian ideology refers to an optimistic worldview that comes from the unique combination of the cultural bohemianism of San Francisco in the 1970s and the high-tech industries of Silicon Valley. These things may seem like complete opposites, I mean, free spirit hippies and entrepreneurial young professionals, but really it's come to be the ruling ideology for tech companies even today. These two opposites combine the belief in the power of the individual with the faith in the free market to solve inequalities. What resulted was an ideology that believed in technological determinism, which believed that technology would be at the forefront of social and cultural change. It takes the stance that information technologies are empowering to the user and can create endless opportunity. We can see it in the way that Apple markets its iPhone. It's not simply a mobile phone. It's a device that can allow you to climb mountains and see the world through a different lens. Determine the ideas that it conveyed, which were developed in the 1990s by Barbrook and Cameron, were echoed throughout the dot-com boom, which saw a massive increase in the amount of technology companies and investment for them. Cassidy compares the dot-com boom to the gold rush in California in the 1800s. He writes, Unlike the California gold rush, the internet mania was not geographically confined. It started in Silicon Valley, but spread to all corners of the country, all age groups, and all social groups with enough money to invest in the stock market. The optimism of the Californian ideology was contagious. And even when, such as Cassidy's example of Priceline, Priceline going public, it didn't always work out as optimistically as they had hoped. However, this optimistic blind faith in technology's potential ignores some pretty big problems that we have in tech industries today. It brings about questions as to who gets to have access to these kind of technologies and who has to make them. In writing The Californian Ideology, Barbara and Cameron noticed this too. They wrote, their utopian vision of California depends on a willful blindness towards the other, much less positive, features of life on the West Coast, racism, poverty, and environmental degradation. But this isn't just limited to California, it's, it's all over the world now that tech companies have become so big. Again, looking at the iPhone as an example, on the back it says designed by Apple in California, but assembled in China. Well, I think that it's true that the Californian ideology highlights the potential of technology and that technology can do good. I think the bigger question is at what cost.